Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's me, Johnny, and I am here with an incredible finish in so rare. We have secured the next star rare and a ton of ETH. Lads, we are looking at it together right here. This team in All Star Rare Pro has gotten me a star rare secured. I am 10th in a price pool of star rares that goes down to the 15th. I have already, I actually have not looked into the star pool at all, actually, but I have made my mind up on what I want. I ideally want a goalkeeper. Now, I am assuming I'm going to be somewhere down here. I still wouldn't mind getting a Hani Mukhtar. That would be great. Uh, looking at the players down here, I definitely do not want Kakpo. I would much rather get Castells. I just want a goalkeeper. Like, I want additional players to be able to play capped mode and stuff because capped allows you to use players from any region. So the more goalkeepers you have, the better matchups you can play. It's just a simple math in my head, but... Yeah, that's how things are going right now. And we are due a star rare, which is huge. And going into my results here, I'll get to the rewards in just a second. Don't worry, I won't be stalling for too long. But we got pretty unlucky with um, with my captain here. Jonathan Vieta apparently was sick. Could have made it into rewards right here with Jonathan Vieta playing against the last place team in the league. I assume he would have gotten us that 70 pointer to get us at least a tier three tier three rare, but it is what it is. And as you guys might know from the previous videos, Curbelo was one of the newest signings and straight away the first game week he plays, the man gets me a star rare and it's probably going to be worth as much as he has cost me, which is great. So he comes in right here with that incredible score. Lovely to see an amazing center back. So glad to have him here. And then going down to the cap 220, we don't need to look at that. Cap 270 rare, I was quite upset because I only missed it by 14 points. If Jeng Tosun could have gotten a decisive or Enzo, we would have been in there. Or obviously if Pandor didn't, you know, concede four goals. But that was to be expected against Feyenoord. This one really upsets me. I had my first entry into Champion America Pro, as you guys can tell. And we hit 100, 100 from two players of the same team. Connecting with each other on the decisives. These guys are going to be so useful for me moving forward. But Pooj and the LA Galaxy game was called off, which ruined everything. And I'm only 10 points away from a tier 2 rare. And I'm only 73 points away from first place. Which Pooj could have done it, you know? He could have done it if he played in that game as my captain. But yeah, it is what it is. We move forward and we check out the last remaining squads here. Under 23 rare did not go too badly. I'm only six points off a reward right here with the likes of Musiala getting an 83 pointer, which is huge. But Kukchu disappointed, Nakamura disappointed, and Osako didn't get that clean sheet. Delicht and Musiala, the only ones to do well there in a massive match against Union Berlin. That was a must win for them. And then the under 23 rare pro, we were 53 points away, which is quite a large gap. So ideally, I need to work on that team and that lineup. But you can kind of tell my all-star lineups and, and capped lineups have been better lately. But yeah, let's go and open up this reward. I'm extremely excited. Let's see what we get. Give me something good. But most importantly, give me that ETH, which I'm so excited about. This is basically 400 euros worth of ETH. This is incredible. This is the main reason as to why I want to focus on All-Star Rare and All-Star Rare Pro. The ETH payouts are huge and they can make such a big difference. I can get an incredible player for that amount of ETH, 0 0.245. Let me show you who I have in my mind already. I mean, this is a joke, right? I don't even know why this guy is down to this price. Formosa Mendy, if you guys remember, we had him at one point as a reward and I had sold him for 979 euros. He's down to 300 euros now. And you can see here, the guy scores incredible. Like those scores are very comparable with the likes of Schlotterbeck. By the way, as always, guys, all of this is only visible because of so rare data. So please, if you do sign up for so rare data, use my code Johnny when you do go with one of the plans, the premium plans, that would be huge and would support me. So thank you so much for doing that. But yeah, look at Schlotterbeck. He goes for 2,300 euros and these are his scores, right? Which is incredible. The consistency is insane. But I mean, Formosa Mendy isn't too far off of it. Yeah, he does have these odd oranges in there. But he does have the hundreds and stuff. While Schlotterbeck, yeah, 
yeah, he does have the 70s, but he doesn't hit those huge heights as many times as we can see Formose here. I'm not saying Formose is better, but for the value, this guy costs only, what, 0 0.22? I just won 0 0.245. I could just buy myself a Formosa Mendy right now, which I am actually thinking about uh, because I've sold Sole. We'll talk about that in a bit. But here's my star rare. Wish me luck. Who is it going to be? Let's see. It's not a Premier League one, I know. Ooh, American goalkeeper. Oh, it's Willis. It's Joe Willis. Oh, you know what? That is not bad. I actually thought about buying a super rare. Now, I know MLS goalkeepers aren't ideal, right? He got a clean sheet just now. Last sale was 650 euros, which is lovely. And he's going for 0 0.42. So that is the value of the player that I've just won. I guess, let's say 0 0.41, whatever. Oh, that card looks sick. But um, yeah, he has just gotten a clean sheet in the new season, starting off for Nashville. They're playing against New York next. Nashville, I mean, historically speaking, I think they used to be a team that did really well defensively. Yeah, look at that. Those scores are not too bad. So people are hoping that they can return to that form. And this could be a great goalkeeper for me to have for rotation. But in my opinion, I can sell this goalkeeper and go in and buy myself a second division goalkeeper from Spain who probably hits better scores, like on a more consistent basis. There are so many out there that I can get. I mean, the American goalkeeper is great and all, but there are so many good ones in Spain. I think I want to go Spain specifically. La Liga Smart Bank is the name, right? So by the way, if you guys can tell that my voice is a bit different, I'm a bit sick at the moment. But yeah, in La Liga 2, we have some great goalkeepers with great AA. Ratti only costs 288 euros. Is that actually for real? If he plays for Andorra, oh, he just recently kind of started playing. If he gets a clean sheet, he gets a mad clean sheet. A bonus there, though. That looks incredible. Wow. Um, so he's up there. We have Escandel, who I think Nep just won. Uh, Escandel is a player that also hits some nice scores and also gets those 50s if possible. So, yeah, you're looking at a lot of goalkeepers here that are really, really good. And I personally really like Zidane, uh, Luka Zidane. I think I really liked his scores in the past. Let me see. Luka Zidane. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's a joke. How is this guy worth the same as the guy I've just won? It makes no sense. Like, if you look at the scores, it's just, it's just the tax of being in the second division. Is that all it is? I mean, look at this. Show me the SF5 scores again. Look at that. Look at these, right? Look at this. Like, I'd much rather have him. I want to swap my uh, my Joe Willis for a Luka Zidane. I don't mind. And the thing with La Liga too is they actually play far into the summer if you are in the playoffs, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And Eibar is in the fourth position. So he could be one of in one of those teams. And that could be huge. So I'll, I'll make my decision. I'll definitely sell Willis and uh, move forward into a goalkeeper that is probably going to be worth a lot more to me, SO5 wise. No disrespect, Joe Willis, but it is what it is. I need to do what's best for my gallery. And uh, yeah, he's going to be leaving us very, very soon. But as you guys can tell straight away, the first time the new ETH payouts have come out, I have come in and snapped it up straight away. And that is such a good feeling. That puts me up to like 0 0.63 ETH right now. And there are some super rares that are currently going for an insanely low amount and I am interested in picking up some of these super rares on auction, man. They are going for way too cheap. So having an ETH balance right now feels great. I did sell on uh, Sole, and I'll explain to you guys one, uh, once again why. So I showed you guys the price of Formosa Mendy, right? I sold a Sole for 570 euros. I can buy a Formosa Mendy for around 300. Sole, his regular season is about to finish, and he's about to play against the top six in the league only. So that will make for tough matchups. And on top of it, at Salzburg, you can never 100% tell who is going to be playing in a starting 11. There's always rotation. I've learned that last season. I've learned it this season. So for me, I just look at that and think, why should I have a player that, yes, don't get me wrong, does score great. Soleil is a beast. He does score really, really nicely at times. As you can clearly tell, he's a beast. And he was at one point possibly the best under-23 defender on the platform. 
But I want to be able to rely on someone like DMP, DMP, odd DMP in between. There's an, there's DMPs everywhere and not all of them are caused because of injury. So I just look at it and think, you know what? I think there are better players worth less money where I can rely on them actually being in a starting 11. And um, Formosa Mendy, who I keep on talking about, who I probably will buy back now at a much lower price, he is linked to Stadra and that would be huge for next season because that would be a defensive stack with Yevan Diouf, who is a ridiculous goalkeeper, as we can all tell. So I'm just sat there thinking, you know what? I can get myself a Diouf. I can get myself a Formosa Mendy now and uh, link those players up in the future, in the next season. Just simple thought process in my head. So yeah, it is what it is. Guys, extremely satisfied with the reward. I'm going to keep this video short because I'm a bit sick and I still have so much FIFA to record. So I'm going to save some energy. I will catch you guys on the next one. Really appreciate the support on this channel. You guys are the freaking best. Yeah, take care. Peace.